Hey, I'm Alex Neat, and this is another blank page. Today is Metropolis Arc 1, which is a massive sounding library. If you do any sort of epic music at all, this will make your life so much easier. Um, by the way, I encourage everyone to do this. Take 30 minutes out of your day, try to write 30 to 60 seconds of music without stopping, and it doesn't need to be anything special, but it's a great exercise. So with that said, this is what I came up with today. And now let's take a look at the process. All right, so we have a bunch of ARC-1 instruments loaded in and a whole bunch of things cloned just so I have more control without having to key switch a whole bunch, which I like when I'm just rolling out ideas. Uh, looking here, I think I'll just start with my favorite patches, which are the swells, favorite articulations rather. I love how dark and moody they are. Arc 1's known for being really loud, but these swells kind of balance that a bit. For me, I really like that kind of quieter contrast. can just record something like that, do a slow kind of ebbing and flowing thing. All right, tempo at 50. Be perfect. I think that takes us from an intro to a ending fairly nicely and quickly. Let's grab these and kind of get them lined up a little better. And then quantize. Should do it. Uh, only thing I don't really want all the way dragged out is this stuff actually take those to there is that right yeah Record that. Okay, so the first things I like, I'm going to switch to a different articulation actually. I have something else in mind. Oh, 
Okay, that was quite sloppy. <laughs> I'm just going to even all these out. Actually, I don't think it matters. We'll go down to another track here and just use the sustain, I think. Do the lower growly one. So when I get to these, what are basically just like the chords and then the rests, I think we'll make those nice and loud to show our great contrast in this library. Let's see here. So I'll switch some of this stuff up a bit. Oops. Okay, that looks clean. Let's bring this up to the tubas. Not super loud though, but swells in here. The tubas don't need to go up. We can take this down an octave. Okay, and like I said, let's start cutting this stuff up. Put this down to another track. Uh, we'll do the unison sustains. So it gives us that. Perfect. And for this, all right, so I like that around. 70 we'll just put a little node in here and then here we're going to bring it all the way up to 127 fully loud and just kind of while I'm thinking of this stuff let's do this an octave above can do let's bring this down to the contrabassoon yeah that can be on that same super low F0 <laughs> let's get a nice dark horn swelling in here too uh, short ones should be okay. Eh, maybe just these.
That sounds pretty good. Just fix our timing. Okay. that going actually need some low booms in here like that's perfect already <laughs> those two together are really nice make kind of a boom pulse draw it in copy this across uh, let's see we have three chords there, so let's just copy this. Might be too much, but we'll see when we come to it. <laughs> Ooh, nice, okay. Choir for sure here. Definitely, definitely. Let's try these, um, the Marcato Longs. These have the greatest round robins where you get these different syllables and it's really really great it's beautiful and realistic ah it's great okay just record a really basic thing that quantized great but close okay uh, I actually want some I want some breathing space between these and that should be okay Have these cut off at the right times here that will work and even those out. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, let's see. So I had that at 90s where I cut that off. And then we'll bring it up to 120 here where it gets loud. And of course, we can just adjust, readjust all the stuff later if it turns out to not be great. But for now, it's fine, and I'm gonna copy this down to the women, put them on the Marcado Longs, and we'll copy and uh, go up an octave. Want them a little louder. Okay, cool. Um, with these, there's a round robin reset, so these can synchronize. So reset, reset, and. Now the syllables are synced and it sounds great. Okay, so moving on here. So I had that get nice and loud there. Piano. Let's go ahead and draw that in. We'll just throw these around. <laughs> Probably sound good.
stop the bass trombones. Let's get those back again. They were doing right. Wait, wrong octave actually. Yeah, I've been playing really high. <laughs> I like the first part of that. These chords sound good. That's pretty good. Let's get a big hit. We have perk hits here. The first one sounds really good. See how that works in here. Is that C1? Again, we have the extra there. I copied the women over here. Let's give them a bit more. Yeah. Up more. <laughs> Way up there. Great. Why can't I get this on? There we go. Couldn't quite get it on there. <laughs> on the grid. Okay. So that's pretty huge sounding. Um, I wanted to fill in these spots here with some staccato type of stuff. That's what I was hearing in my head, so. Let's start with choir. We can play with the choir staccatos, those are great. God, those are good. <laughs> uh, so, I think that's actually what I want. Can't see, there we are. Oops. Just go ahead and bring these down to the women. Put them up an octave. Bring those up, and again, go to our round robin resets. Reset that, and reset that. Now we should be good. Perfect. How about more piano here? Not nearly that loud. Let's try 50. Something like that. Put them here too. Probably some pizzicato strings or no, we don't have pizzicato. We do have spiccato. Perfect. Actually, there are bar talks in here. Those might sound good too. They might sound better, but we'll go with this because we're here. 
like it, not nearly as loud. Let's actually try this throughout here. And maybe an octave on this one, since we're doing that. Did that with the women. Uh, let's see, now that goes down to a different chord, so... Well, the sticks are on E and F. That's right, I remember that. that loud. It's not bad. some rolls. I think it's in hits. Hey, like that. Let me add a couple of those together and it sounds huge. I like that. All right. Just like that. Glue this stuff together. All right. I'll just kind of grab those and relative grid and where do we where do we want them? Yeah, right there. And then maybe at the end. We also have some metals in here. There we go. These are velocity sensitive with the samples. The light velocity, you get that kind of just jangly metal with no big bass drum. Cool. Bring those down. Yeah. Maybe we grab this and carry it through. And on some metal. <laughs> what do we have here? Now we don't want that. So those last three hits need to go away. From there and here. All right, where are we here? What next? Ooh, I definitely hear, hear horns in my head. I like that a lot. Okay. Make this really big. Add these to the horns off three trumpets. <laughs> Always do overkill and then take it back later. Strings. Down on those. So we stopped with the bass trombones. Those were here. Yeah, 
Maybe we have those do a uh, kind of lower harmony. No. Something like that. That was kind of perfect. <laughs> We haven't used the Chimbasi. We have some flutters. Crescendo flutter tongue. That's always good for an ending. <laughs> it's like the the quick and easy kind of big ending. There we go. Do a higher, higher thing too, I think. This really ends there. All right, uh, so maybe trumpets and pitch those up, of course. Not sure if this is all late or not. Let's play it back from here. Yeah. The trumpets might be okay. Let's see. That's not bad. Let's just play back from the beginning and see what we have. This might be this might be good. pretty good <laughs> cool i hope you enjoyed today's episode please like and subscribe and i will see you next time